For these next few examples, we will look at pictures of angles and try to find the measure of each marked angle. The first diagram shows us a straight line split into two angles. One angle on the left is x plus 1 degrees, and the angle on the right is 4x minus 56 degrees. Since these two adjacent angles make a straight line together, they are supplementary and their measures together should be 180 degrees. So we set up an equation adding the angles together. x plus 1 plus 4x minus 56 equals 180. Add like terms on the left. x plus 4x is 5x. 1 plus negative 56 is negative 55. So we have 5x minus 55 equals 180. Now to get x by itself, we need to add the 55 over to the other side with the 180. So we're doing the opposite of subtraction, we're adding. So now we have 5x equals 180 plus 55. And that sum is 235. Lastly, we have 5x equals 235. The opposite of multiplying x by 5 is to divide by 5. And we do that with the 235. So 235 divided by 5 is equal to 47. Now notice this is not 47 degrees. This is just what x equals. We have to go back to the original picture and let x be 47 to figure out the measures of the angles. So the first angle on the left says x plus 1 degrees. So that becomes 47 plus 1 degrees, or 48 degrees. For the angle on the right, its expression was 4 times x minus 56. So we get 4 times 47 minus 56. And 4 times 47 minus 56 is 132 degrees. On the next picture, we have two angles that intersect each other and they make a, an x. Now, when you have that situation, angles that are opposite of each other are vertical angles and vertical angles are congruent. So we have two vertical angles here. One on the left is 5x minus 129 degrees and the one on the right is 2x minus 21 degrees. These angles have equal measures, so this equation is to set these equal to each other and solve for x. So I have 5x minus 129 equals 2x minus 21. Since there aren't any like terms on the left or the right, you can get your letters together. And I like to get my letters on the left. Positive 2x becomes minus 2x, and we're going to line that up under the 5x. 5x minus 2x is 3x, and then when I bring down the rest of the equation, I have 3x minus 129 equals negative 21. Now we want to get 3x alone, so the minus 129 becomes plus 129 to both sides. And then we have 3x equals negative 21 plus 129, and that equals 108. Finally, the opposite of multiplying x by 3 is to divide both sides by 3. So x is 108 divided by 3, and that equals 36. Again, it's not 36 degrees, that's just the answer for x. So to find the measure of each angle, you have to substitute x into those expressions. So the first expression is 5 times x minus 129, so that would be 5 times 36 minus 129. 5 times 36 minus 129 is equal to 51 degrees. Now I should get 51 degrees again. This is a good way to check your answer. The other expression is 2x minus 21. So 2 times 36 minus 21. This also equals 51. So this verifies that my solution for x is correct. The third diagram shows a angle that is has two lines that are perpendicular to each other. We call this a right angle. Now two angles that are perpendicular to each other are going to add up to 90 degrees. So these are also complementary angles. One expression is 8x minus 9 degrees and the other is 3x degrees. 
So I need to add these angles together and set that equal to 90. So I have 3x plus 8x minus 9 equals 90 degrees. Adding the x's together gives us 11x minus 9 equals 90. Now we want to get 11x alone, so the opposite of subtracting 9 is to add the 9 to both sides. And this results in 11x equals 99. Now let's divide both sides by the 11 to get x alone. So x equals 99 divided by 11 or 9. Substitute that answer in to find each angle. So for the expression 8 times x minus 9, we have 8 times 9 minus 9. And that answer is 63 degrees. And the other angle is 3 times x, or 3 times 9, or 27 degrees. And if you add 63 and 27, you will get 90 degrees. Our last diagram shows two parallel lines, line 1 and line 2, cut by a transversal line in the middle. And the first expression, 2x plus 61 degrees, is on the top left side of the line. And the 6x minus 51 degrees is on the very bottom right side. Now these angles are on opposite sides of the transversal. And if you trace out a z, you'll see that they aren't on the inside, but they are alternate angles. They're going on opposite sides of the transversal, and they're outside of the line. So they're called alternate exterior angles. These angles are always equal to each other. So let's set these measures equal and solve for x. So I have 2x plus 61 is equal to 6x minus 51. So for this equation, let's get our letters on the left. So positive 6x becomes negative 6x. 2x minus 6x is negative 4x plus 61 equals negative 51. Now let's subtract 61 from both sides. So negative 4x is equal to negative 51 minus 61, and that's equal to negative 112. Lastly, we're going to divide both sides by the x number negative 4. So we get negative 112 divided by negative 4, and that's positive 28. So plugging in 28 in for x gives us 2 times 28 plus 61, and that's the equivalent to 117 degrees. My other expression was 6 times x minus 51. So 6 times 28 minus 51. And that is equal to also 117. Again, this lets you just confirm that you did get your solution x correct. If you had gotten different answers here, that could indicate that you made a mistake in your equation.